patients at the Harrison Point facility can now recover while appreciating the beauty of Bajan heritage and artistry on display. While acknowledging the positive impact of art on one's well-being, Head of Isolation Facilities Dr. Corey Ford says the new mural will positively impact patients' mental health. What you've seen here is not only going to help in terms of the, the niceness of what you see behind me, but it also would help definitively in terms of people's mental health. Describing the mural as truly amazing, Dr. Ford says it has brought much joy to patients within the facility. We recognize that one of the things we might do is to show the average tourists who come in the country who may be ill some of the classical things of Barbados and will be mentioned before by the artists. We're talking about things such as the black belly sheep, we're talking about things um, such as the beach, cricket, which they have not spoken about. These are all important aspects. And I will tell you that many Barbadians, many of the tourists who have admitted to facilities have come out since then and have seen this, and they're absolutely thrilled with it. He applauded the National Cultural Foundation for assigning artists to the project. The mural depicts various elements of Barbadian heritage and landscape, including sports and nature. Cariel Rollock and Alicia Smith are two of six artists involved in painting the mural. The inspiration behind the mural was heritage. The theme of the mural was heritage. Barbadian culture. Barbadian culture. There's landscape, foliage. So it was all a group effort. Chief Cultural Officer at the NCF, Andrea Wells, says the NCF recognizes the importance of injecting Barbadian culture into new spaces and the value of showcasing the island's creative talents. The NCF has a vibrant community program that engages the visual arts and led by our visual arts officer, Rodney Eiffel, who would have costed the proposal and recommended a team of artists we agreed that this was so important, not only to bring a bit of Barbadian culture to this space while people were healing and being healed in the midst of the COVID pandemic, but also to showcase the creativity uh, and the strength of our visual arts community. Aaliyah Briggs, CBC News.